Hi guys, in this next video we are going to do today, sorry about the big massive thumbnail because it always happens with the videos that get uploaded sometimes to YouTube by, 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 by the people I subscribe to. But in today's video we're going to do another reactor shout out. This is going to be for Rumi. I, I, enjoy, I enjoy listening to what he has to say most of the time. Sometimes... Obviously, we we do disagree with stuff, but that's just opinions. But we're gonna give him a shout out today with this video, which is called "Most Unexpected Low and Deep Voices in the Voice." This is not something I normally do. This is not something I delve into that side of things. But regardless, let's watch it. So, without further ado, let's go. Let's turn you down a little bit. This video has been sponsored by Raycon. Today we're looking at some of the most unexpected low and deep voices in The Voice. Let's do it! Ooh, The Voice Global, we're gonna get some Spanish and stuff. South Africa. Hello, darkness, my old friend. So dope! I've come to talk with you again. How bad freaking A word is that? Hello, darkness. I mean, it's not that low for a guy, I guess, but it's also the tone. Like a raspy, and she sounds like she lived quite the life. Lots of sniffy dust. Because the vision softly creeping. How sick is that? She sounds manlier than me. It does sound pretty cool. Great pronunciation, too. Oh wait, they speak English in South Africa, right? Within the sound of silence And the people bought it free Oh! Yeah, I would've done that too. The tone, the open vowels, sings like a proper rock dude. But you can still hear that it's, you know, a woman. It's just very pleasant to listen to. It's really dope. Well, I love that. So a big part of why it was such a cool wow moment there when she started singing high, even though it wasn't very high. Well, well, it's, it's actually, actually it's pretty high. high. It's, it's a high B. For a girl, it's like medium high. But, but the reason why it's like goosebumps almost, almost is that it's got a dynamic build to it. It doesn't really matter how high you sing. What really matters is what contrast can you build with your singing. So it's like started out very, very low. And then when you go up just like that an octave, it can be crazy. By the way, the compilation we're watching is called Most Unexpected Low and Deep Voices in the Voice by The Voice Global. We got Mongolia. I love that it's so global. It's amazing. I mean, I, I can do the notes, but I can't do the depth to it, you know. Uh, Try it at home, everybody. <laughs> she loves it. She's like, he's got big feet. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> cringe. Start, Start dancing, dancing and, and like everything, everything cuts, cuts out right there in the song. <laughs> <laughs> eh? Wow, she is a lot. <laughs> what is that low note? It's an E flat. That's just about how low I can go. I can sometimes get down like a D or a D flat. <laughs> and getting that amount of tone down there is actually pretty hard. I don't know. <laughs> I can't do it. That's such a freaking E voice. I think this is attempted English, right? That's pretty funny. Wow, she's amping it up. She's like a very over the top freaking YouTube reactor or something. Where everything's like, Ugh. like me the other day when I was looking at freaking Will Ferrell, like he's overdoing it as much as I did as a joke. <laughs> Uh, 
that, that was, was all right. right. It's, it's impressive. It's an impressive voice. voice. It was pretty boring, boring musically. Again, okay, like, like we were talking, talking about the dynamics, the dynamics in the last one, this one had no dynamics at all. By the way, welcome back to another daily video. My name is Joe from Rooney Official, and here's a meme from the subreddit. So I actually found this channel the other day called Joanne is Drawing, and she does these cute animations based on little moments from my videos, and they're really fun. We're going to link it in the description. you got to check it out. Here we have Singers vs. Pianists featuring Dally Thrasher. Sorry, sorry, Daniel, Joel. can you please still like really loud and it's got that annoying honky You stop, maybe you're, you're, you're hammering okay, also, on the, you're not, that's, that's what, what you're doing, doing. the piano's piano not Rihanna, you're, you're not Chris, Chris Brown, Brown. Oof. I, I forgot, forgot making, making that, that joke. joke. Well, I, I, I never made that joke, joke but whenever I hear it, I'm like, oof, that's it, that's edgy. Anyway, there's, anyway, there's a few of them. I really love them. them. This, this is one called Day Being Enthusiastic. enthusiastic. It's, it's one of the intros to the videos. It's so funny. Today, Today we're going to be looking at very, very funny singing videos that my audience have been submitting. Can't wait, guys. This is going to be a blast. You just sound so enthusiastic. I can't wait. I've never heard I'm so excited. But anything. Oh, what's going, going on? on? Ah, what what is is <laughs> I love that so much. Hey, anyway, go check out Joanna's drawing. I would love if she keeps making stuff. I think it's really, really fun. Oh, here we got Germany. I hope it looks weird. Baby, we ain't got no place to go. Oh, they do this thing where they hide it from the audience too, what he looks like. Ah, that's funny. That's like perfect American accents. It's super impressive, but like this genre makes me just, it's hard. You can kind of guess what he looks like based on looking at his family. Blonde, I guess. Blonde or reddish hair. I feel like he's also probably wearing shorts and um, a belt because a lot of these people seem to be wearing belts. Come on, show us. Wait, so they click, but they don't get to see him? Where is he? <laughs> this is such weird TV. There's nothing to look at. There's a freaking green screen. <laughs> green screen. What? So good. Is crying? This is weird music to cry to. Okay, show us the dude. He, he was the, like the most handsome guy in his family. I'm, I'm just saying. Or maybe he's just side better because he's doing an audition. But look at him. What a hunk. What broad shoulder. Okay, I gotta move on unless people are gonna think that I'm not straight again. Which, you know, it's fine. You can be not straight, but I don't like it when people misunderstand me because, I don't know, it doesn't really matter really. The more I think about it, I'm like, all right, what doesn't matter. And that, of course, leads me to today's sponsor, Raycon. After a long, long day working in front of screens, I'm tired but don't want to feel totally unplugged. With Raycons, you can listen to your favorite Favorite content with great sound anywhere at the gym in the park or hanging from the ceiling as we all do of course you know that feeling when you're browsing for high quality earbuds and you end up thinking this can't be right for this money i could buy a gorilla and then put my gorilla in a brand new lamborghini and then repaint the lamborghini in pure gold however raycon makes that a thing of the past they offer premium quality for half the price of the competition half this is half of me, right here. And, and that's, that's without compromise. compromise. They are awesome. Raycon does things differently from other brands out there. They prioritize your experience from start to finish. I like to finish. That's obvious, for example, from their 45-day return policy. That is so long. There are fun colors, no dangling wires, and a variety of fit options that will make sure that you get a nice, comfortable, noise isolating fit. Check it out, guys. They're not falling out, and it sounds freaking great. The company was sponsored by Ray J, and celebrities like Snoop Dogg, Brandy, and Mike Tyson are obsessed with Raycons. Raycon gets you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, and more bass. Click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash roomyofficial to get 15% off your Raycon purse. Thanks to Raycon for sponsoring this video. Go get yourself some earbuds, boy. Here we got Australia. Hello, darkness, my old friend. What that is low? That's a low E. It's a little bit of that corpse effect, you know, like corpse husband, where like if they have a lot of vocal fry on their voices, 
think. Then, then it sounds lower than it is. That is not actually that low. The Asian looking guy earlier actually sang lower, but this sounded lower to me because of like the vocal fire, the distortion or whatever that was. My old friend. Okay, okay, that was the low D, so now he's under. Because of vision softly creeping. So, so gotta try to do the disturbed thing. Yeah, definitely disturbed. They did a very iconic cover of this, so he's got a good voice, it's cool. Sick. Amazing. Wow. Almost became a little bit too much distortion there. Almost. Damn. Okay, yeah, that was cool. If you want to be super critical, he lost a little bit of control in some of the notes when he was going for too much distortion. It kind of took over, lost a little bit of tone, and like got a little bit pitchy much here, by the way. But that was darn impressive. It's cool. I love the Disturbed singer. So hearing someone singing the same song similarly is cool. But however, you can't say that it's an original idea or arrangement or anything like that, obviously. By the way, guys, the new Little Pitchy single, Just For You, is coming out on April 16th. You can already pre-save it or pre-order it wherever you like to listen to music. You can also follow Little Pitchy on Spotify. It'll be, It'll be awesome, awesome. I promise. It'll be great, yeah. <laughs> so here we have Greece. Oh, they got mad cameras in Greece. Oh. Hold your breath and count. Oh, this is Skyfall by Adele, right? This is not actually that low. It's like a baritone rock singer. So if you don't know, like, what you generally say about voices is that you got bass singer, you got baritone singers, you got tenor singers, alto singers, and soprano singers. So that's the whole spectrum. So baritone is somewhere between tenor, someone like Freddie Mercury, and bass, someone like uh, Ari from, uh, well, I guess used to be in Pentatonics. The most boring way to make rock music is and then you got the guitars like bah, 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 bah. And then you got the bass like bah, 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 bah. Like nothing's going on Everyone's just freaking playing eighth notes And like just have something like a a tambourine or something, maybe just some 16th notes. I don't know, it's just so boring and stiff. The singing is good, but the arrangement, come on, man. That's nice. I like that too, the slide. There we go. That's pretty cool. A little bit more distortion on that last note would have made it more epic. That would have made it like Chris Cornell, you know? Let the sky fall! Something like really... When they started doing the James Bond... As the riff afterwards, that was what I was looking for along. Like something a little bit more interesting in the backing. This should have worked more on the other stuff too. Because holy moly, those eighth notes were slow and boring. Belgium! Okay? Let's do it. It cost me deep. Cool beer. <laughs> oh, you just click based on that. That's very funny. Yeah. But it's really me. This is another just baritone rock singer. It sounds great though. I can't read myself. It's getting great control. Jealousy. It's like a more rocky version, and I guess more uh, white version <laughs> of Hello Black, right? He's got the same types of runs and same vibe. It looks like he's someone's dad. I like it. <laughs> this shirt. I wonder if he's a Fantano fan. Ah, that's it. (laughs) 
I know it's just the motion in the middle, guy. Oh my god, what's he doing? <laughs> Look at him! He's like a kid. Look at that. Hey! hey. <laughs> so funny! That was a good run though. What was that? It's in my blood! Oh, such good control. I love that. He's got great just control of his dynamics. Great tone. I love that. To keep more music comments in our videos, to keep music based videos. Here's a meme from the subreddit. It's happened to the best of us. When you're trying to watch a video, but you keep having to take off your headphones because someone is talking to you. Those are like the only times when I was growing up and I would scream at my mom, just listening to something, trying to learn how to play something on drums, and mom would come like, Hey, Joe, dinner is ready. Shut up, mom. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so that was Rumi. Rumi Official's video on. Almost unexpected low and deep voices in the voice. That was that was that was cool. I, I enjoyed that. That was that was pretty good. Is 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 a great. He's got a great channel going on. And maybe sometimes some videos feel a little bit pointless when he uploads. Not trying to harm anything there. No hate comments. But I I always enjoy what he does. He always he always explains things very well, and he always knows seems to know what he's doing. If you like what you saw, go subscribe. I'll leave some comments. There, I'll leave links in the description below. Until the next video, peace.